Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Talk Time with Pastor Krista. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We sure did. Yesterday was such a beautiful day. We had a little chance to get outside. It was wonderful. So before we start talking about where I am and what's in front of me, I want to remind you of something. Please remember that if you've missed any talk times, you can go back on our church's Facebook page, which is Ebenezer United Church of Christ. Just make sure you get the right Ebenezer in West Seneca, New York. Or you can go on YouTube and search Ebenezer UCC 716. And you can see any of our talk times that we've already recorded. Or you can catch Reverend Gossel's Sunday services, which are on Facebook Live, but they're on our Facebook page. Or his prayer services on Wednesday night. So if you find you just need a little time, 15 or 20 minutes of prayer, you can go back and look at one of those again, and hopefully that will help. So today you can see I have some instruments around me and I am in my basement. And the t-shirt I have on today, I have on because the kind of music I love the most is country music. And this teacher kind of has a little country twang to it. It says, y'all need Jesus. And that was a gift from my children. They thought that that was kind of funny. And I guess it kind of is. So Michael's going to be joining me. Mike, why don't you come on in? And Mike's going to have a seat in this chair, and he's going to help me explain what all these different instruments are. So today we are going to be talking about music, and we're going to be talking about making a joyful noise to the Lord. So we have one over here. This is the electric bass. We have a ukulele, an acoustic bass, and a, what do you call that? Double bass double bass and Michael can play all of these instruments and he's going to play just a tiny little bit of each instrument but before he does that I want you to know something about each of these instruments they are all made of the same thing they're all made of wood mostly some strings and a little bit of metal each instrument is made of the same thing wood strings and metal but you can see some instruments like the double bass? double bass double bass are very very big and some instruments like the ukulele are very very small so even though they're all made out of the same thing i want you to listen very carefully to the different music that each instrument makes so mike is going to start with the ukulele and he's going to play just a little tiny bit of each instrument and i want you to listen very carefully to the difference in sounds okay is going to grab the electric bass and we're going to see what or the electric guitar and we're going to see what that sounds like So the electric guitar sounds a little bit different. Now this is an instrument called an acoustic bass. So Mike's going to try that one next. And I want you to listen again carefully to the difference in the music that these instruments make. So that instrument sounds a little bit different. It's kind of a little more mellow. Now Mike's going to get up out of the chair and he's going to pick up this big double bass and he's not going to play it with a bow. You can play it with a bow, but he's just going to kind of, what's it called, Mike? Pluck? Pluck. 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 Pizzicato. Pizzicato. Technical, Technical term. term. There you go. So this is what the big, big bass sounds like. Thank you. So he's going to set that down. And I want to talk now about why did we do this? Why did we learn or hear about all these different instruments? You can have a seat, honey, that are so different. Because as I mentioned when we started, each of these instruments is made of wood and strings and a little bit of metal. But each instrument has a different song to play. And we are kind of like that, you and me. 
We're all made of flesh and bones and blood, but we all have a different song to sing. Some of us can sing very well, some of us can kind of sing, and some of us it's just not our gift. Sometimes our gift is different. But when it comes to music, we all have a beautiful song, but it might not be a song with notes on a, a staff. It might be a song that is in our hearts that we sing, a song of praise for God. So what I'm going to do is right here. I'm going to take my Bible and I'm going to open it up to Psalm 100. Now Psalm 100 is smack dab in the middle of your Bibles. So if you take your Bible and you open it right up to the center, Psalm 100 is right in the middle. Now, a really cool fun fact, the word Psalm, another word for Psalm is a song. So in the middle of our Bible, there are all these songs that we know the words to. And it's so cool to open your Bible and read some of the lyrics or the words to these songs or these psalms. And this is what Psalm 100 says. It says, shout with joy before the Lord, O earth. Obey him gladly. Come before him singing with joy. So it says, shout to the Lord. Come before God singing with joy. And if you read a little further, it talks about God's love for all of us for generations and generations and generations. So when we sing our different songs, just like these different instruments sounded, when we sing different songs to God, when we praise God in different ways, the way Michael praises God is to play his music. The way I praise God is to teach. The way my daughter praises God is through dance because those are all our different gifts. But it doesn't matter how we're built. It doesn't matter whether we're big or small, whether we're short or tall. It doesn't matter whether our voices are high or low. We all have a song to sing for God. And it's very important that we do that. And when we do that, God promises us that for generations, God will be with us. Now, what does the word generations mean? Well, that means that the songs that I sing echo the songs that my great-grandparents sang and my grandparents sang and my mom and dad and me and Kathleen and Michael and Michael's children someday and their children someday. God wants generations to sing joyful noises to the Lord so that all that beautiful music can join together. And when we do that in a community, in love with Jesus Christ and God, and that's when all those really good things that God and Jesus teach us, that's when they happen. And that's when we realize the promises of the Bible. So before we leave today, I'm going to thank Mike, and he's going to go so he can turn off the camera when we're ready. And we are going to sing Jesus Loves Me. So sing it with me, please. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So you have a wonderful day, and I want you to go out today into this world and make a joyful noise to the Lord. So here is our benediction. My heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. God bless you, and we will see you tomorrow morning.